Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Real Talk with Lizzie. I'm so happy to meet you all once again. So happy to so see right. So this week's topic will be on business titled How Well Do You Know Your Business? We'll be right back. <music> know the meaning of business which I'm still going to talk about but it's still the same thing business it's all about buying and selling either trade by butter or any which way as far as there is a transaction it is business yet forget all the big dramas business is all about buying and selling so Having knowledge about your business is one of the basic things you need to do in order to more, make more sales in your business. Yet, some people are doing business but they don't know about the business they are doing. They don't even know. Acquiring more knowledge is power for that business to grow up. Sometimes we think we know it all, but we know nothing. Knowing more about your business is going to boost your sales. It's not about marketing, advertisement, posting pictures. You need to go beyond that by studying and learning more about what you are selling. Let me give an instance. You don't ever enter by care. You're a of man carry, you carry waka. But I don't still reach the destination. If you never do you, eh, you don't do me. If I see that man tomorrow, or probably you, will you enter that bike again? That is business. You sell clothes, but you don't know the difference between talking wares, US wear. All you know that is vine. If customer enters your shop, you don't even know how to convince the customer why this one is more expensive than this one. Or you tell the customer, ah, customer buy is fine. Is fine. Did the customer tell you it's not fine before entering the shop? I bet you, and I bet you again on this one. Most of the hair vendors, hair stylists, doesn't know about what they're selling. If you bring synthetic and fiber, most of them cannot differentiate it. Yet, you need to know what's synthetic. If you see synthetic, you need to know it. If you see fiber, if you see Brazilian, if you see in there, if you see all types of hair, you need to differentiate and know it. Not always 50,000. What's the name? Bone Street. What's it talk? You need to convince your customer. Let your customer know that you know more about the hair. You need to tell your customer, this is the name of this hair. How long is going to stay? And how is going to take care of the hair to, for the hair to last longer? Hmm. Sometimes I wonder why Alaba International Market is highest when it comes to electronics in Lagos. <laughs> Have you ever got to Alaba International Market to buy electronics? <laughs> One nam dia go do. Biana, but also dia go take go do li amo tu julo i. Na come and sit down. Come and sit down. You see this television you want to buy. Dude, you that go to market to buy, we start learning. You see this television you want to buy. Na, it's yoku. It's forty feet. It has LVE wire. It has VVP inside. It has NPP inside. The P is for plugging. The C is for removing. The U is for fixing. The V is... What are they doing those things? You think they are wasting their time? Or energy? It's their market strategy. And it's working perfectly for them. You can try. Go to Alaba if you want to. If you are doubting me. You need to learn. You need to know what you are selling you need to know you don't think you know it all we don't know it all you learn every day you study knowledge is power to be successful you have to learn don't say you know it all it's a lie 
learn more about what you're selling in order to convince your customer to buy my time hey so my time is up so please follow me on my instagram page lizzie consulting then on my youtube please subscribe thank you so much thank you so much for having me next week is going to be bomb it's going to be another wonderful topic hope to see you guys